What's going on? Arrow. Are you guys getting snow up there? Um, hold on, let me look out the window. I don't think so. I mean, uh, uh, Arrow, I got I got no snow here in Pacific Palisades, California. Oh my god. But I bet you would love to have some snow though, dude. <laughs> no, I would yeah, not, not, not No snow here. out here. No snow out here yet. But uh it was it was it got down to thirty one last night. Yeah, yeah. That's us. That's us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you got the same as we do. Oh my god, yeah, but Jake is out there in California where it's always beautiful. It's beautiful, man. It doesn't snow here. I, 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 every time I hear of snow, I, I throw myself back to having to shovel the driveway. <laughs> so true. That's why I left the state of Montana and came to Carolina. I couldn't do it anymore. See, that's what happened to me. I, all I remember was one, one morning I'm fast asleep and my father comes down and says, shovel the driveway. And I said, but dad, I don't drive. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and cut to... Me in my pajamas crying outside, shoveling. And uh, I said, that was the last time I spoke back to my father. And <laughs> I'm never going to, I don't want to shovel snow anymore. <laughs> Jake, you've always been a man of inspiration. I've always believed that, you know, when, when we were told to just do it, that was one thing. But you, you came up with don't quit. Because so many people just do it, but they quit. But you t train us to not quit. Well, man, Arrow, thank you, buddy. You know, I've been very, you know, honestly, I've been very blessed in my life. Uh, I was an overweight kid. Um, I I had a bad stutter growing up. Uh, my dad bought me a set of weights when I was 13 years old. It changed my life. Uh, not only did the weights build my body, but uh, built my confidence and self-esteem. And, you know, when you have confidence and self-esteem, uh, no matter what age you are, you know, you know, you you stand up a little bit straighter. You feel better about yourself, and uh, I call it the upward spiral of success. Uh, you know, in school, you're less fidgety. You're more focused. If you're more focused, you do better on your tests. You do better on your tests. Your teachers are proud of you. Your parents are proud of you. You can be proud of who you are, and uh, you start to become more in control of the person you want to be. And um, that it was it, it was that moment life is about moments i talk about and and some moments are great some moments are not so great this is a great one you and i are talking but uh uh the the moment when i started working out was an incredible one for me when let's talk about those moments that, that really that have been labeled not a great moment that's that's my defrag time i want to go in there and i ask myself questions and i get to build up that relationship with the inner core because it's important to the outside shell Absolutely. Listen, you, you know, for me, uh, having that bad stutter, uh, I remember those moments where in school and I could read, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, the teacher would, uh, would, would, would stand up and say, okay, everyone, we're going to take a paragraph and uh, each kid will stand up and read the paragraph. And I would count the paragraphs, the kids and try to memorize the words because you know, a kid who stutters, you know, you get stuck on B's and yep, T's yep, and yep, P's yep. and H's. And, and when you start going, you go quick and your buddies start laughing. And it was tough, man. It, 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 you know, you know, you get quiet and uh, it, the working out really changed my life. And and pushing myself, continually to push myself, to better myself. I mean, when I came out to L.A. to pursue bodybuilding, um, you know, I, I read all the muscle magazines and everyone said eat 18 eggs and 24 <laughs> chicken a day. And you too can become Mr. America. Well, I clucked a lot, uh, but no one talked about steroids, Arrow. And this was now, this was 19, I came to LA, summer 77. I, 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 I went to college upstate New York, you know, Cornell University? No, I don't. Oh, no, you don't know Cornell oh, University? Oh, Corn yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Cornell, Cornell. Okay, yes. Cornell, okay, because that was my bit, because I, I went to Cortland down the street, which you definitely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you bring up Cornell. I've been saying this bit for 40 years, and no one has ever said I don't know Cornell. <laughs> and then I blew it. How do you like that, man? But you know what? You blew I'm, the bit. <laughs> but I'm not going to quit, though, Jake. I'm not going to quit. We're gonna... <laughs> You're not quitting. You're not quitting. And, well, listen, so I, I came out to L.A. and, and we le left college, left my family, left a girlfriend, friends, all everyone saying you'll be back in six months and uh, finding out very quickly that I wasn't going to become a professional bodybuilder because I didn't take steroids. And the reason why I didn't take them, 
because I was afraid. Yep. I was afraid to put a needle in my own battissimo, very honestly, at, at uh, 18 years old. And I had to make a decision. And uh, I have four kids. Uh, my wife, Tracy, and I have been married now 34 years. Congratulations. And our kids are grown up, and thank you. And we've always talked to our kids about decision making. And, and if you have to think about something too long, it's probably something you shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And I made the decision that I'm not going to take steroids. And But I wasn't going to go back to New York, in my mind, a loser, right? So I'm going to find, I love working out. I love what it did for me. I love how I felt when I trained. And uh, fortunately, I was in the right place, right time. I was the first guy to become, you know, the first personal trainer to make personal training an occupation. Yep. And uh, was able to train a lot of very Big name stars like Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford, Priscilla Presley, Bette Midler, Warren Beatty, uh, Madonna, Barbara Streisand, all kinds of different folks. And I learned an incredible lesson, Arrow. They're just like us. Yep. Yep. The only difference is, <laughs> is they had a dream. They never quit on their dream and never took no for an answer. And that gave me all the incentive in the world to say to myself, you know, I might never direct ET2, but I'm going to have my own success in life. And I was able to parlay that famous by association into videos and books and television shows. And Ted Turner gave me my start doing the fitness break on cable news network. Um, I created the first linear fitness television network called Fit TV. But early on, I was getting ready to do my first exercise video in 1983. And I had this crazy idea. I had this crazy idea, Arrow, where I love music. And I love working out, mm -hmm. but I understood, I'm going to say it out front, exercise is boring. Yes. Right. And if it wasn't boring, everybody be in great shape. <laughs> uh, but what you have to do is find something that you enjoy doing, that you make it a part of your lifestyle. And a way to help that along is through good, fun, popping, pumping music or whatever kind of music you love. And at the time, I'm going to frame it, Right. Uh, Jane Fonda, Jane Kennedy, Victoria Principal, incredibly talented women, were doing exercise records. Yep. But the music was more of that wah, 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 <laughs> wah, right? And I said, I was not going to do something like that. God bless, right? But I, I, once again, when everyone's going right, I'm going left. And uh, I said, I'm going to do the first original soundtrack to an exercise video. Movie called Flashdance had just come out. Yep. Movie called Maniac, Michael Cimbello, right? I said, this is what I want to be doing. So I went to Irving Azoff, at, who was running MCA Records. And this is obviously because of the relationships and in, in business, right? So I talk to my kids. And when I talk to schools and motivational speaking that I do, right? It's about relationships that you build over the course of your life to make, the, make you the person who you are. Mm -hmm. Because of the folks that I was training... Uh, I was able to get to a guy named Irving Azoff, who was running MCA Records. Pitched him the idea of the first original soundtrack to an exercise video. He was intrigued. And we put together a cast of talent that was incredible. Bobby Caldwell, who had a big hit in the 70s called What You Will Do For Love, sang the original song called Don't Quit. We yep. shot a music video for MTV that uh, I reenacted the Charles Atlas, you know, uh, nerdy guy getting sand kicked in his face with Priscilla Presley's boyfriend at the time, <laughs> Mike Edwards, who was do who, who was the number one male model in the world. And uh, my, one of my brothers played the bully. And the music video played on MTV in heavy rotation. Was it awesome? <clears throat> and then we put together a group of artists, Leslie Smith, who was a background uh, backup singer to... Ray Charles, Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder sang two two incredible songs for us. Baby, work out. You can get it if you really want. Max Ann Lewis, uh, who was one of the Iquettes for Ike and Tina Turner, <laughs> sang a song for us. Did a song called Hard Work. Uh, Michael Cimbello, coming off a of maniac, yep. did Pump It Up. And John Williams, a great composer's son, uh, who I knew, uh, got me to his son. And he did two cuts called Toughen Up and Firepower. Joseph Williams becomes the lead singer for Toto. Yeah. After my <laughs> and it's still the lead singer for Toto, Arrow. And so when, when Universal Music comes to me after all these years and says, Jake, we're going to re-release 
Body by Jake, don't quit because Beyonce and Drake and Janet Jackson are dropping 80s dance records. I go, come on, seriously? And it's been awesome. See, and, and, and I, I, I'm I, looking beyond that in the way that, because, I mean, with the way that gyms have the televisions all over the place like a bar, I swear that they need this music in, in, in going through their heads while they're while they're working out. There's, there's so much negative energy on the walls that we need to get it back in the heart. Arrow, I love what you just said, man. And, and, and if you think about this, too, the greatest antidepressant in the world, think about this. If you're anxious, if you're angry, if you're mad, if you're sad... Just move your body. Just exercise. Mm -hmm. Whatever mood you're in, just exercise. It changes your life. It really does. If you have, you know, there are three things that I live by, which is hope and health and family. If you have your health, you have your life. If you have hope, no matter how crummy the days have been, you have that belief that tomorrow the sun will come up. And if you have family, whether it's your friend group family or your immediate family, you always know someone has your back. And that's how I live and do and focus on everything that I'm about. Mm -hmm. And just simply moving your body changes your world. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, if you haven't exercised in a long time, you get some good music and obviously we're talking, so we're, we're you know, we're pitching a little bit too. You go to bodybyjake.com and you can, where, or wherever you stream your music and you can, you can, get this these eight great cuts of music and i promise you you're going to feel better better about yourself better about your day and better about everything you want to be doing because if you haven't exercised in a long time just thought yeah. one repetition leads to two leads to three hey wait a second if i'm doing this what else can i achieve in my life and i call it this upward spiral of success Aaron. and everything you know the world lets you be what you make them believe you are and success is failure turned inside out. You need to be marketing this. this, this that, you need to be giving this music to grocery stores. And here's the reason why. During the lockdown where the gyms were all closed, I needed to work out. And and my wife goes, well, if you need to work out and you need to lift, go to a grocery store, get a job with somebody who's already open, start lifting, start bending, start. And, and now I get in fifteen to 20,000 steps a day. I'm constantly lifting. I need this album in that grocery store. I love that idea. I got to tell you, Aaron, that's awesome, man. That's a great idea. I mean, to have that, first of all, you, you'd shop 10 times quicker, right? Everybody be buzzing around. Everybody be smiling, saying hi to everybody. I mean, look, look at what's happened if you think about it. And I'm the positive guy. You know, you talk about the lockdown and all that stuff, but especially in the beginning of those days when everybody was masked up and people would, you know, in a supermarket, you wouldn't look at anybody, you wouldn't talk to anybody. It's like, hey, we're all in this together, right? Let's all be positive. And especially today, I mean, it's it's so much easier, like I've always told my kids, to smile and say hi to somebody yep. than to walk past somebody and make a face and not say a word. You have to think about that. Try this. And I know you have a lot of followers, a lot of folks who listen every day to you. Try this little exercise. When you're walking down the street, you're in the supermarket, wherever you're at, say hi to people. Yeah. You watch and see how people's faces light up <laughs> and how much better you feel. Oh, oh my God, I'll, I'll do that, Jake. I'll, I'll, and I'll, if, they, if they don't respond, I'll go, oh, you're going to leave me hanging, huh? Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll, I'll, and it's like, you know, I, I shared something with you. Now, you know, share something back. That's right. And it's, and, but you know what, though? But do it in a way that you don't bust balls a little bit, <laughs> where you just make the smile and, and you can count in your head, but you watch and see, because it really does work. Just say hi. Yeah. And watch how many people just smile. And it's just, listen, Arrow, the world could be such a better place. And it all starts with each of us, whether you're opening a door for somebody, whether you're saying hi to somebody or saying something nice to somebody. It's so much easier to do that than to try to be mean and try to be bad and try to be mean. Mm -hmm. You know, simple. Just don't quit on positivity. So when it comes to working out, how important is meditation? And the reason why I bring that up is because during my black belt test, I did a double brick break from a push-up position because I believe in the power of right now. Arrow, that is awesome. Well, listen, I, I'm, I'm a big believer in visualizing, right? Yeah. So 
when 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 I train and I'm up at uh, 3:45 in the morning, Good so man. I've I've got my workout in, and we've already done about 11 11 shows up up to you right now. And when when I'm in the gym, what I do is yeah, I count reps, but I visualize my day with every rep and every exercise that I do. So I, I have already played through all of these interviews, not exactly what I'm going to say, because obviously this is the first time you and I have spoken to each other, not met you in person, but I visualize my day. So by the time I get my cardio, or my muscular workout in which I combine, I do a 42 minute workout. I've not only got my workout in, I've got my mental workout done That's too. It. That's it. And I've accomplished my day and it's, I'm at 4.30 in the morning, right? <laughs> so I'm way ahead in my mind. If you think about it, the best thing to do is train first thing in the morning. Yep. First thing in the morning because you get it done. You're not thinking about, all right, I'm going to train at 6 o'clock. How many times at 7 o'clock I have a meeting come up? I, oh, my, you know, the office needs me. The family needs me. My kids, there's a game. And you end up pushing the workout off. Get it done first thing in the morning. You get a great workout in with great music. And you are way ahead of 99.9% .9 of the world. Yep, yep. They say that we are two ages. We have our real honest-to-God birth age, and we have the age that our heart says we are. I will always be the forever 16-year-old. What is your age? I'm 22. 22. 22. Yep, yep. <laughs> 22 years old. I just, you, you know, man, it just... Uh, I feel great. Uh, as I said, it, 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 it does take a couple of minutes sometimes in the morning to get up. I got to get into the bathroom and take that ice cold water and throw it on my face. Yep. Is that, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but once that moment happens, uh, I'm ready to roll and you just, you feel great when that workout is over. And I know you have so many listeners because of what you do, man, and keep yourself tight together, both, physically and mentally mm -hmm. that mental health is such a very important thing. And, and, and as, as we talked about, it's, it, it just gets your body moving arrow and with the right music, the right workout, you set yourself such a, and, and by the way, you'll inspire whether it's your husband or your wife or your kids or your friends or your coworkers to get on board with you because people, there's this aura about you, brother, when you're working out and you feel good about yourself, that people want to be a part of positive. That's it. They don't want to be a part of, hey, Arrow, how you doing? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm numb. I guess I'm all right. You know? <laughs> no. Come on. You run from that kind of stuff. Yep. 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 Jake, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. I love it. I love it, man. Hey, check out Body by Jake. Don't quit it. Body by Jake.com. And, uh, I'm on Instagram now, so an official body by Jake. So get get those millions of followers that you have popping over to us, and we'll uh, make the world a better place. Absolutely. You be brilliant today, okay? Arrow, you're the best. Don't quit. I won't. You don't quit. If you quit, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm, I'll be the first one knocking on your door. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guy. See you, man.